السلام عليكم and welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing the unit 2 of the grade 3 class book. Let's start. The unit title, let's dress up. So how many clothes words do you know? That's what we're gonna find out in this unit. So who's wearing a green hat? Correct, that's Sammy. How many shoes can you see? Correct, 12 shoes. What color are the bags? Yes, red and purple. Woo! Next is listen and stick, then listen and say. Ready? Look at the clothes, they're so cool. This is a hijab. This is a tracksuit. These are slippers. This is a jumper. This is a coat. These are jeans. These are pajamas. These are trainers. This is a baseball cap. This is a shirt. Wow, they're so cool. Well then, now make sure in number 3 to find the clothes we mentioned in the previous page 36. Now for listen and chant. We're wearing jeans, shirts, and coats. We're ready to play. We look cool. You're wearing a tracksuit, trainers, and a baseball cap. You're ready to do sport. You look cool. They're wearing pajamas, socks, and slippers. They're ready for bed. They look cool. So what do we understand here is the different clothes they're wearing. And also, we're is for we are, they're, they are, you're, you are. So the R-E is the word are. So we're putting it together. We're, they're, you're, for, we are, they are, you are. Understood? Great. Now five, think of you and your friends, then say, for example, we're wearing baseball caps. They're wearing baseball caps. Now create your own sentence of what you're wearing, you and your friend, or talk about others using these three words. Next, we're going to read a story of the school show. But before you read, how many parrots can you see and where are the parrots? So I've already sold this for you. There are nine parrots. And where are the parrots? You would see them on Jack's pajamas. Now watch or listen and read. 1. Are you ready for the school show? Yes, Miss Razan. Look, we've got our clothes. 2. I like the school shows. This is fun. Hurry, Lily and Fatma, you're first. 3. Hello, everyone. They're wearing hats and dresses. They're wearing trainers, too. 4. Atomic and Polly are wearing coats and jumpers. Their trainers are red, too. 5. Oh, no. Those jeans are too small. And these shirts. What can we do? I've got an idea. 6. Here are Jack and Sammy. They're wearing... Oh! You're wearing pajamas, baseball caps, and slippers. You look amazing. 7. What a cool school show. Well done, everyone. Thanks for the clothes. 8. Wow, look at all these clothes. Let's recycle those trainers, Fatma. Can we recycle these pajamas too? Great, so after we read, look at the story again. Read and write the names. So 1. He's wearing a blue shirt. Correct, that's Jack. 2. They're wearing dresses and hats. Correct, that's Lily and Fatma. 3. They're wearing pajamas. Correct, that's Jack and Sammy. 4. They're wearing coats and jumpers. Yes, that's Atomic and Polly. Now for act out the story with your friends. That would be a very fun activity to do. And 5. Design clothes for your school show. And remember, don't be wasteful. Moving on to listen and say, then listen and tick. What's missing? First, let's see what we have here. Glasses, keys, handbag, backpack, phone, computer. Now listen carefully and tick. Whatever you don't hear, that's the missing thing. Ready? Look at the things on the table. Are these your things? Yes, these are my glasses. Those are my keys. Anna, your backpack is here. Hey, Ahmed, here's your computer and your phone too. Good. Please, take your things off the table. Well done, so the missing thing was the handbag. Now to listen and sing, let's try to sing this together. What color are their glasses? Their glasses are blue. 
and their handbags are too. What color are our keys? Our keys are gray and our computer is too. What color are your backpacks? Your backpacks are green and your phones are too. Well done. So we understand that the word our, it means something that is yours and for someone else. And your is something is yours only alone. And their means something that is not yours but for someone else. So in number three, look and say. Our pens are red and blue. See, they're talking about something that it's theirs. And their pens are red and blue. So he's talking about them. Their, which means something that it's theirs. Understood? Great. Moving on to the favorite activity, which is listen and color. Listen carefully and color what you hear. One. We are Monira and Leila. We're under the big tree. Under the big tree? Yes, we're wearing yellow dresses. Our dresses are yellow. I like yellow. Color our dresses yellow. Two. Can you see Talal and Abdullah? Yes, I can. They're on the swings. That's right, on the swings. They're wearing jeans. What color are their jeans? Their jeans are blue. Yes, color their jeans blue. Three. Hello, Saeed. Hello, Hamza. Hello, Amjad. I like your shirts. Thank you. Are your trainers pink? No, they aren't. They are red. Yes, you're right. Color our trainers red. Four. Wow, your backpack is big. Yes, it is. What's your favorite color? Purple. I like purple. Me too. Color your backpack purple. Well done. Now to cut out, then listen and play. You will find the cut out on page 109. Then you can practice this with your friend, saying whatever you see on the picture. For example, they're wearing hijabs. Their hijabs are red. They're wearing baseball caps. Their baseball caps are purple. Moving on to the special days in Oman. There are many special days in Oman. Let's look at Eid al-Fitr. But before we read, what clothes do you wear on special days? To me, I wear traditional clothes. Now let's continue reading. Eid al-Fitr is very special in Oman. People celebrate for the first three days of Shawwal. As you know, families eat special food and give presents, sweets, and idea to their children. What presents do you get? Idea, presents, sweets. And look at this girl. She is wearing traditional clothes to celebrate Eid al-Fitr. Now you can find out more to watch the video that will be presented in the class. And for after you read, open activity book, page 31, and solve what's in there. Then you have the project. You have to design some clothes for a special day. So you can solve this project alone or together. You can think of a special day. It doesn't have to be Eid al-Fitr. It could be any other day. And choose the clothes for that special day. Then find photos or you can draw pictures. Write this is they're wearing same as the previous task. Then make a poster and present it to the class. Just like this boy here, this is the festival for Eid al-Fitr. It's after Ramadan. Next is find a point and say. So you're looking at these two children. Let's see what they're wearing. Backpack. Baseball cap, coat, dress, glasses, handbag, hijab, jumper, tracksuit, trainers. Well done. Now to watch or listen and read. Uh, excuse me. Yes, can I help you? How much is this baseball cap? It's five riyals. Here you are. Thank you. Now you have to act the dialogue yourself, but using different objects and prices. For example, jumper, handbag, shirts, these are the objects. And the prices is 2, 9, 7. So here, OMR means Omani Royals. Let's do, for example, this jumper. Excuse me? Yes, can I help you? How much is this jumper? It's 2 Omani Riyal. Here you are. Thank you. And you can practice the rest with your friend. Now... Listen and say you have E A R U R E. So, ear and your. For an example, beard, hair, vulture, picture. See how they're pronounced? Beard, hair. So, it's ear. And vulture, picture. It's pronounced your. 
Okay, now to listen and say the tongue twister. I can hear a vulture and I can see a picture of a man with a beard. Again, I can hear a vulture and I can see a picture of a man with a beard. Great, now three, listen and circle, then write. So one, ears, exactly. Two, mixture. Three, year, exactly. So one, ears, two, mixture, three, year. Now four, look and write. What's happening here? Here. And what about this? Yes, ear, here. What is this? Yes, this is a vulture. What is this? It's a beard. And what is this? Mixture. And the last one? Correct. That's a picture. Yeah! Next is look, find, and circle. You have to look for the answers across for these things and down for these things. I will give you time to solve this one alone. Trainers is already done for you. Now solve the rest. Ready? Well done. Now to look and write. Remember what we said about there, where, your, and there, your, our. Now let's solve together one. So should we say we're wearing a baseball cap? No. He is the only one wearing a baseball cap, so you're wearing a baseball cap. So imagine that this boy is talking to him. We can't say his baseball cap is blue. He's talking to him, so he's saying your baseball cap is blue. Great. Now, two. We're wearing pajamas. Our pajamas are pink. Understood? So here in this blue is referred to people, but this is referred to what they have or what they own. Great. Now, three. They're wearing coats. Their coats are long. Great. And the last one, four. Imagine they're talking to us and they're saying, we are wearing tracksuits. Our tracksuits are orange next look and read put a tick or a cross in the box one they're wearing trainers two i'm wearing a baseball cap three you're wearing jeans four they're wearing hijabs five we're wearing glasses six you're wearing a coat great now two you can look at the activity again say and find for example, they're wearing trainers. Number one, ask your friend and practice together. Moving to the fun corner, which this is a fun game to play with your friends. All you have to do is play and say what you see in the numbers here. You would need a spinner from one to six. Then the groups will spin and whatever number comes, for example, six, you're wearing a green t-shirt. Now my turn. So you'll spin and whatever number you find, you have to say what is that? So you can either practice with your friends at school or practice with your siblings. That will be very fun. For example, let's do together number five. Five, you're wearing glasses. And for example, four, you're wearing a cap. And so on. Next, let's read the clothes game. The girls are in their bedroom. They have got lots of fun clothes to wear. So let's read together. Let's play a game. Don't look. Close your eyes and count to ten. This is fun. Okay. One, two, three. Open your eyes. Look at our clothes. Are our clothes the same or different? They're different, of course. Now you're wearing coats. The girls are wearing a colorful mixture of clothes. What clothes can you see? The girls play the game. They have fun. You're wearing slippers and you've got handbags too. Yes, our slippers are fun and our coats are cool. Our handbags are orange. I've got keys and glasses. Oh, where are my glasses? Can you see the glasses? They're on your head, near your ears. Oh, yes, they are. Thank you. This game is fun. Let's play again. And now let's read the story of Dad's tracksuit. Today, I am at home with Dad. He has got a book. Hello, Dad. What's this? It's a special book. It has got lots of pictures in it. Dad points to a picture. Dad is 16 in the picture. He hasn't got a beard or glasses. Look at this picture. This is my football team and this is me. 
I look at the football team in the picture, they're wearing tracksuits and trainers. Dad is wearing a tracksuit and trainers too. Their tracksuits are red and their trainers are red too. Your tracksuit and trainers are cool, Dad. Thank you. I've got an idea. Dad gives me some red clothes. Now you're wearing my tracksuit and trainers. I'm in the football team too. Let's play.